Yes, and then we have Team Uncle Elisha. <laughs> Uncle Elisha. Now, children, you're going to choose which team you are supporting. Team Mark Oye. Oh, yeah. And Team Uncle Elisha Oye. Oh, yeah. And this is what they're going to do. This is what they're going to do. They are going to sit on the balloon yes. and it is going to pop. Hey, it's going to pass. All right? Again. Do not try this at <laughs> home. So guys, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Get one balloon, get one balloon, get one balloon, get one balloon. Hey. Here. So Here at the go. count of three, Ooh. I want to see. At the count of three, yeah. we count together. One, one two, two, three, three. sit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's try it again. Get another, get another, get another, get another one. Get another one. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's count together again, Whoa. everyone. Remember Team yeah. Mark and Team Elisha. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> 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 one more, one more, one more. Get, get one more. more. Get one more, get one more, get one more. Yeah. Get one more. I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I here we go, here we go. Yeah. One, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. three, here we go! Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right. Now, I know you're having fun. Hello, 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 hello. I know children, you're having fun. Now, would like you to join us, all right? As we fun, as we have fun in our yes. service, all right? Come on, let's go together. One more balloon! Let's go! Bye-bye! <laughs> Welcome to church, everyone. My name is Shama, and I have the awesome privilege of being your host for this service. But before we start, I would like you to do something for me. Are you ready? Turn to your mom, dad, brother, or sister. Even the person you're seated next to, and tell them they are welcome to church. And all my friends on Facebook, and those who are joining us on YouTube, you are welcome to church. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to dance and sing for Jesus. But before we do, let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this awesome day that you have given us. We thank you, we praise you, because we know that you are going to give us the energy to dance and sing for you this morning. Bless us and our teachers who will teach us to understand your word. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
made us. And today we are saying with our little hands and with our little feet, we'll choose to worship you. Amen, children? Let's sway together. because of you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your mercy. We worship you in Jesus' mighty name and all God's children say Amen. Amen. Fun, fun, fun! I'm sure the angels in heaven were dancing. Those were great moves you pulled out in your sitting rooms. Well, it's time for the word of God. Are you ready? Get your notebook and pen with your Bible ready. Happy Easter, everyone. He is risen, just like he said. Nancy is my name, and today we are celebrating the death and resurrection of Jesus. I know we have plenty of food, and yes, some of us have traveled to be with our family members. Today, I am so happy that you could join in for our lesson. I pray that you're understanding who Jesus is from our lessons. Last week, we learned that Jesus is the son of God. And we see this in the Bible when God himself called Jesus his son. The week before that, we learned that Jesus is the son of man. Meaning that things that Jesus did just like us. For instance, he ate, he slept, he had friends, things that you and I do. The week before that, we learned that Jesus is God, which means we can worship him. Today, I'm so excited that we're going to learn that Jesus is our savior. Boys and girls, I'm going to ask you to pause for a minute. When someone says savior, what comes to your mind? What do you think of? What definition comes into your head? I know you have terrific answers, but I'd like to start by letting you know that a savior is someone who simply protects people, guards people, defends them from harm or anything that is too strong for them. Children, Jesus is our savior. He saved you and I from sin, from death, and from hell. God in his word tells us that when Adam and Eve sinned in the Bible, do you know what happened? 
our relationship with God changed. We stopped being friends with him. We made him sad. Guess what? Sin and death came into this world. But you know what? God in his word tells us in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, and whoever believes in him shall be saved and have everlasting life. God had a plan for you and I, and that plan was for Jesus to come and die for our sins. I know some of you in your minds are asking yourself, how does Jesus save us from sin? In the Bible, many years before Jesus was born, prophets had talked about a boy, a savior, a son being born, and he would save us from sins. Isaiah in chapter 9 verse 6 tells us that he will be called the prince of peace, meaning he'd bring peace between God and man. In Matthew, when the angel appears to Joseph, he tells him to make sure that the son is named Jesus because he would save man from sin. Children, that's exactly what happened. When Jesus grew up, Jesus started teaching and preaching about God. In the Bible, we see God, Jesus performing miracles. He healed the sick. The blind could see. The lame could walk. And yes, there's a time people were hungry and they had not eaten a very long time. Guess what? He fed them. And because of this, some people loved Jesus. But guess what? Some people hated him. They didn't like him. You see, Jesus had to suffer for you and I to be forgiven. His friends betrayed him. Um, what was his name? Yes, Judas. Judas betrayed him for 30 silvers of gold. Guess what happened? There is another friend of his that denied him when asked if he knew Jesus. He didn't deny him once, not twice, but thrice he said he didn't know him. That was Peter. When the crowd was asked whether to, to choose between Jesus and Barnabas, a criminal, they chose the criminal. They preferred the criminal to Jesus. Children, the pain that Jesus had to go through was so much. A crown of thorns was placed on his head. He was beaten. We couldn't even recognize him by the time he was done with the beating. People called him names. They made fun of him. They mocked him. They treated him so badly. They even took his clothes off him. And guess what? They took him to a cross and nailed him. That was so much pain. But guess what? Jesus went through all of that so that you and I can be forgiven. So that you and I can be friends with God. You see, Isaiah in the Bible talked about all these things even way before they happened. Jesus is the only way that you and I can be saved from our sins. He's the only one that forgives. He died, but guess what? Three days later, he rose again from the dead. Jesus is not dead anymore. He's alive. He's in heaven, and he's praying that you and I get to join him when our life on earth is done. I'd like to end with a very interesting story. A story is told of a boy and a dad who were driving through the countryside, and they were having fun. They were giggling. They were laughing. They were talking. And guess what? All of a sudden, a bee came into the car. The boy used to fear bees because every time it stung him, he got an allergic reaction towards it. So he kept quiet. The dad in the car noticed that there was some silence. There was something very strange. Only to turn and find a boy shivering like a leaf, scared. He couldn't talk. He was afraid. And when the father noticed that it was the bee that was making him uncomfortable, do you know what he did? He reached out his hand, grabbed the bee and squashed it in and let go of it. Moments later, he realized that his son was still scared. Then he noticed that the bee he had squashed was still making a buzzing sound. The father got his hand, turned it to the son. And when the son looked into the father's hand, he noticed something strange. It was red. It was swollen. And there was a piercing on, on his hand. And guess what that was? The sting of a bee. And he looked him in the eye and said, Son, 
you do not have to be afraid of that bee anymore. I took the sting for you. It cannot hurt you. Children, if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't have to be afraid of anything anymore. Because Jesus took the sting of death, of hell, and sin. So it can't affect you anymore. But to my friends out there who haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, who haven't become friends with him, who haven't asked him to forgive you of your sins, Jesus today is asking you to make that choice. And guess what? I'm more than excited to lead you in that prayer. So everybody, hands together and eyes closed. Jesus, I thank you for that little boy and girl that's watching right now. I thank you that you died on the cross for our sins to be forgiven. Thank you, Jesus, that you took the sting of death, of hell, of life away from us. You saved us. You defended us against it. Jesus, come into our lives. Be our Lord and Savior. Write our names in the book of life. Help us be friends with you. In your name I have prayed. Amen. Now, friends, you are friends with Jesus today. He is your Lord, he is your Savior, and you do not have to be afraid of anything anymore. This week, I'm going to ask you to draw an empty tomb. Color it, and guess what? Every time you look at it, I want you to remember that Jesus saved you from death, from sin, and from hell. Have a beautiful week. Our memory verse for today is Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. It means that when you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. Let's say it one more time. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. All right, children, get up on your feet. Clap those hands. Come on. to church today and I know you had fun and learned so much like I did but don't forget to share what you learned with your parents and your friends. Let's close by praying. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today.
We thank you for what we have learned. We ask you to help us to share with our parents and our friends what we have learned. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Easter! Bye! <laughs> Yes. Yeah.